Hello my dear friends once again welcome all of you in our PM online channel today we learn next topic of our chapter number 3 circle and it is touching circle what is touching circle friend if two circles in the same plane having only one common point then such a circles are called as touching circles there are two types of touching circles externally touching circles and internally touching circles in which first one is externally touching circles what is externally touching circles friends if two circles in the same plane touching externally in only one point then such a circles are called as externally touching circles and that common point is called as common point of contact for example here there are two circles first circle with center a and second with center b and these two circles touches externally in the only point point c so these two circles are externally touching circles and this common point point c is called the common point of contact friends always remember that when two circle touches externally then the distance between their centers is equal to sum of their radius here these are two circles touches externally so the distance between their centers that is distance ab is nothing but the sum of their radius that is r1 plus r2 and hence distance ab is equal to r1 plus r2 and friends if a line passing through the common point of contact point c which is perpendicular to segment ab then that line is the common tangent of both circles for example here line l is a passing through the common point of contact point c and hence line l is the common tangent of two touching circles and our second type is internally touching circles what is internally touching circles friends if two circles in the same plane touching internally in only one point then such a circles are called as internally touching circles and their common point is called as common point of contact for example here there are two circles this larger circle with center a and smaller circle with center b and these two circles are touching internally in the only point point c so these two circles are internally touching circles and friends always remember that when the two circles touches internally then the distance between their center is difference of their radius for example here the radius of larger circle is r1 and radius of smaller circle is r2 and these two circles are internally touching circles so the distance between their centers that is distance ab is nothing but the difference of these two radius that is r1 minus r2 and hence distance ab is equal to r1 minus r2 and also if a line passing through a common point of contact point c which is perpendicular to segment ac then that line is the common tangent of internally touching circles and our next topic is theorem of touching circles friends if the two circles touch each other then their point of contact lies on the line joining their centers friends, let us solve our practice set 3.2 and in which our first example is two circles having radius 3.5 cm and 4.8 cm touch each other internally find the distance between their centers friends here we have given two internally touching circles having radius 3.5 cm and 4.8 cm and we have to find the distance between their centers to solve this example first we have to let these two radii be r1 and r2 so let radii of two circles be r1 and r2 therefore r1 is equal to 3.5 cm and r2 is equal to 4.8 cm now these circles are internally touching circles and friends we know that when the two circles are internally touching circles then the distance between their center is nothing but the difference of their radius and hence the distance between their centers between their centers 
is equal to difference of their radius that is r2 minus r1 here r2 is greater than r1 so we take r2 minus r1 therefore value of r2 is 4.8 minus r1 is 3.5 and if we subtract this 3.5 from 4.8 then we get here 1.3 centimeter and friends the distance between their center is nothing but 1.3 centimeter our second example is two circles of radii 5.5 cm and 4.2 cm touch each other externally find the distance between their centers now friends here we have given two externally touching circles having radii 5.5 cm and 4.2 cm and again we have to find the distance between their centers so to solve this example first we have to let this radii of two circle be r1 and r2 so let radii of two circles b r1 and r2 therefore r1 is equal to 5.5 cm and r2 is equal to 4.2 cm now friends these two circles are externally touching circles and we know that when two circles are externally touching circles then the distance between their center is nothing but the sum of their radius and hence the distance between their center is r1 plus r2 therefore distance between their centers is equal to r1 plus r2 what is the value of r1 5.5 and r2 is 4.2 if we add these two values then we get here 9.7 cm and hence the distance between their centers is nothing but 9.7 cm then our third example is if the radii of two circles are 4 cm and 2.8 cm draw figure of these circles touching each other first externally and second internally friends here we have given radii of two circles 4 cm and 2.8 cm and we have to draw figure of these circles which are touching externally as well as internally so to solve this example first we have to suppose the centers of these two circles and their common point of contact so suppose the centers of two circles be p and q which touches each other at point r that is their common point of contact is point r and also let the radii of these two circles be r1 and r2 so r1 is equal to 4 cm and r2 is equal to 2.8 cm now first to draw externally touching circle you we should know the distance between their centers and we know that when the two circles touches externally then the distance between their centers is nothing but the sum of their radius and hence the distance between their centers that is p and q that is distance pq is nothing but r1 plus r2 r1 is 4 cm and r2 is 2.8 cm so the distance pq is equal to 6.8 cm this is the distance between the centers of two circles for the externally touching circles then for internally touching circles we know that the distance between center is nothing but the difference of their radius so the distance pq is r1 minus r2 as r1 is greater so we take here r1 minus r2 so that is 4 minus 2.8 and if we subtract then we get here 1.2 cm so distance pq is equal to 1.2 cm this is the distance between the centers for internally touching circle now as we know the distance between the centers of externally touching circle is 6.8 cm so first draw a segment of 6.8 cm so here we draw 
a segment PQ of distance 6.8 cm. Then take a point R on the segment at a distance 4 cm which is the red eye of first circle and obviously the remaining distance QR will be the radius of second circle which is the 2.8 cm. Now friends to draw externally touching circles take a distance 4 cm in compass and draw in this way and draw a circle of 4 cm. And similarly, take a distance 2.8 cm and draw a circle of 2.8 cm. in this way and friends in this way we can draw the two externally touching circles for internally touching circles first draw a segment PR of 4 cm which is the radius of first circle and then take point Q at a distance 1.2 cm from point P which is the distance between the centers of two internally touching circles and obviously this remaining distance is nothing but the radius of second circle which is 2.8 cm. Now to draw internally touching circles, first take a distance 4 cm, that is distance PR which is 4 cm in compass and draw a circle of 4 cm. And then draw second circle of radius 2.8 cm and in this way we can draw the internally touching circles.